When replacing a hub assembly, often technicians do almost everything right. Proper inspection techniques, correctly diagnosing the failure. They properly clean the knuckle, caliper mounting bracket, rotor flange. They reassemble everything with care and precision up until the point of installing the axle nut where they proceed to take their impact and just ram the nut home with everything the gun's got. That technician drove the ball 95 yards just to fumble on the goal line. When you replace the hub assembly, there's one fastener that has more impact in the life of the bearing than any other. That's the axle nut. Get it right and the hub will deliver thousands of trouble-free miles. Get it wrong and you can destroy the brand new part before the vehicle even leaves the bay. In this Motor H Tech Tip, let's break down why the axle nut matters, what happens when it's off, and how to make sure you get it done right every time. The axle nut does more than hold the half shaft into place. Often, it actually controls the preload on the wheel bearing inside the hub assembly itself. If the nut is under torque, the bearing has room to walk. The play shows up as wheel wobble, steering looseness, and growling noises at speed. It can also cause the tone ring and ABS sensor to misalign, triggering false ABS activations, and eventually lead to wheel bearing failure itself. If the nut is over torqued, the bearing rollers and races are crushed together. That increases friction, generates heat, and causes bearing and race galling, and can cause the grease to prematurely break down. Either way, the result's the same, a comeback, and in many cases, a hub that fails in a matter of just weeks. When axle nut torque and therefore preload isn't set correctly, the issues don't always look like bad hub at first glance. Some more obscure yet still prevalent symptoms include uneven brake pad wear, tire wear, often negative camber wear, cupping or feathering, or even complaints of vibration and highway speed due to movement from a failed bearing. These problems don't just hurt the hub assembly, they can create costly comebacks involving brakes, tires, or even driveline components. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I know my gun, or I know when something's just right. But the problem is axle nut torque varies greatly. Most applications fall anywhere between that 140 to 200 pound feet. And most modern electric or pneumatic impact guns can easily hit north of a thousand pound feet of fastening torque. And it doesn't take much to quickly exceed the design bearing preload. You wouldn't set a taper rolling wheel bearing preload on an old square body with an impact. So why would you on a modern vehicle? So what's the correct way to handle axle nuts? First, actually look up the torque specifications in service information. Remember, even vehicles with the same manufacturer are gonna vary model to model. Next, use a properly calibrated torque wrench. If you wouldn't trust the same wrench to torque down an aluminum cylinder head, then don't trust it to torque the suspension and wheel end components on a vehicle as well. Also, watch for one-time use axle nuts. Often service information specifies that an axle nut should not be reused. Oftentimes these axle nuts will actually deform when tightened to help achieve proper clamping force. And then lastly, never lubricate threads unless specified. So while cleaning rust scale and buildup off the half shaft is a good practice before reassembly, applying lubrication to the threads can change the torque reading and apply more clamping force than intended. Now modern hub assemblies are more advanced than ever. Some of the newest generations of products use a type of roll forming to set internal bearing preload during manufacturing. But that does not mean you can skip the torque wrench. The axle nut still holds the half shaft into spline contact with the hub and maintains factory set bearing preload under real world conditions. When looking for replacement hubs, it's important to choose a hub that is designed with the technician in mind. B-Pro Auto hub assemblies are manufactured to OE standards and tested for durability, ABS signal quality, and even resistance to mud and debris intrusion. They feature super finished raceways for longer life, proper bearing clearance to maintain consistent handling and quiet operation, and high strength wiring for reliable ABS performance. And they're ready to install out of the box. All these details add up to fewer comebacks, smoother installations, and parts that perform the way the technician expects. Axle nut torque may seem like a small detail, but it's the difference between a hub that lasts and a hub that, well, doesn't. Take the time, grab the proper tooling, and look up specifications to complete the job correctly. And when you pair that precision with OE engineering, like the hub assemblies from B-Pro Auto, you can be confident that you'll have a repair that lasts 
I want to thank the folks at B Pro Auto for sponsoring this tech tip. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>